So you're in school and ahead of you is this major intersection. Chances are it's that time in your life where you've got to choose one out of possible three paths science, arts or commerce and you're stressing because maybe you don't actually know what you really like and maybe you don't even know which profession you want to follow. So don't worry, in this video I'm going to give you three things. The first is top 10 in demand professions per stream. Second, I'm going to give you five easy techniques for you to be able to choose your stream and finally the wrong reasons to choose. So let's get going. Hey everyone, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. And today we're talking about what to choose after 10th science, arts or commerce. Now we're in this fast paced world that had entered the fourth industrial revolution and suddenly this pandemic happened and several professions around the world went through a change. Now it's safe to say that 10 to 15 years from now, some of the careers that might be very popular right now may not even exist. So the goal is to be nimble and skilled. So in this video, I'm going to give you those 10 in-demand professions currently. But before that, I want to talk to you about how you can make yourself future-proof. Scott Adams, the creator of Dilbert Cartoons, coined this term called talent stack. He said that perhaps you may never be the best writer or perhaps you may never be the best artist or even the best business manager. But what if you were good at all three things? that might make you better than many others. The key is to keep acquiring skills all your life. And as you stack your skills one on top of another, that talent stack might make you extraordinary. It could be design skills, it could be computing skills, it could be writing skills, it could be communication skills. It doesn't matter what that individual skill is, the point is to become a lifelong acquirer of new skills. And now let's jump into what to choose after 10th science, commerce and arts. And before that, you put a comment for me under this video telling me your plans to future proof yourself. Step number one, top in demand professions per stream. In science, it could be professions like data science, software development. In medicine, there could be physiotherapy, being a medical doctor, a nutritionist. It could be design related fields like product design and industrial design, cyber security, animation, game design or becoming a game developer. On the engineering side, you could have environmental science and manufacturing, robotics and mechanical engineering, and also perhaps becoming a technical writer. Top in-demand professions on the commerce side are financial consulting, cost and management accountancy, being a statistician or a data analytics, a certified financial planner, chartered accountancy, maybe banking, investment banking, being in private equity or venture capital, maybe becoming a company secretary or an actuary, a financial analyst or being in corporate finance, perhaps doing stockbroking or insurance. On the arts side, you have civil services and government administration, fields relating to law. If you major in psychology, you could do clinical psychology, maybe organizational psychology, counseling or sports psychology, even become a career counselor. On the media side, you might have journalism, communication, PR, advertising. You could be a commercial artist, try out careers in hospitality and event management, be a content writer, author or editor. You could even join national security agencies like the FBI or CBI. Within the arts field, you can also specialize and join marketing and sales jobs like digital marketing as well. On design side, you could do fashion or interior design or even jewelry design. Another popular profession with the arts background could be that of international relations, where you could be a diplomat, an intelligence specialist or work with the World Bank or the United Nations or even the World Health Organization. And with language skills, you could perhaps look at being a translator, a linguist or a writer. Additionally, there are fields like business management and teaching where you could perhaps pick up any specialization and then eventually end up doing those as your post-graduation. Now, before we move into the next step, 
Please put a comment for me under this video telling me which of these professions you're truly interested in and maybe we can work on giving you more information on those careers. Step number two, the best techniques to choose my stream. Now that I have a list of all these professions, I don't know which one to choose. I kind of have a vague idea, but I don't know which one is going to suit me best. So here are five really easy techniques and one bonus technique that are going to help you choose your dream career. Technique number one is called research. I suggest get onto the internet and search maybe for videos, blog articles or even try to read biographies. A day in the life of a lawyer or the challenges of a cardiologist. That will give you insights into the nature of the job. The next technique is called sample participation. This is my favorite technique. It's like having a sip of soup in the buffet to try to figure out whether I really want to have that big cup of soup at all or not. Here's what you can do. Try interning with somebody or maybe shadowing a profession. You can even volunteer at events or try learning a new language. Maybe help a small business owner set up his own business or you can manage some events or try keeping a record of all your family's monthly expenses and that way you'll get a taste of what that career actually entails when you get into it. Technique number three is called interview. This is really simple and this is where your friends, family and relatives will come in handy. Having a long conversation with someone who's already pursuing that career will give you the ins and outs and actually how life is when you're playing that character for a long period of time. Now we have a number of videos on interviews as well with various different professionals and you can go back and take a look at them and I'm going to drop links for you as well under this video. Technique number four is called Ikigai. Now Ikigai is a Japanese concept which says that you have a purpose and once you discover that you lead a satisfying and rewarding life. And according to the Ikigai concept your purpose lies at the intersection of your passion, something that society needs and something that society is willing to reward. So when you're looking at all these different careers that we are throwing at you and when you sample some of them and do your research, find out which of those are part of your Ikigai. Technique number five is called peer feedback. Now sometimes we don't even know what we're really good at. So how about you play this game? Get together with your friends and say, I'm going to tell you something that I want you to teach me and you tell me something that you'd like to learn from me. And when you finish playing this game, you're going to know what is that one thing or two things that all my friends want me to teach them, which means what is that one thing that I'm really good at? You can even do this with your family and your parents and anyone who truly cares for you. The bonus tip is called pros and cons. Now chances are I may have given you 30, 35 different careers, but you finally boil it down to two or three. Now when you're deciding between the two or three, make the pros and cons of each one of them and that chart, maybe on a whiteboard or on a sheet of paper, is really going to help you finally bottle it down to that one. But remember, you don't have to choose your final profession right now. You just have to choose your stream. And once you go along building new skills and proceeding with the stream, the final profession, you'll come to it in a few years and it'll happen naturally. And please put a comment right now under the video telling me which of these five techniques did you like the most. And step number three are the wrong reasons to choose a career. Now many of us have gone through this experience of choosing a career for the wrong reasons. So let me highlight those so that you know clearly that these are avoidable. Wrong reason number one is marks. Just because we do well at a subject, it doesn't automatically imply that we're going to enjoy that subject for the long term. So learn how to see the difference between a subject that you score well at for various reasons and a subject that you truly enjoy doing when you sit down and study that subject. Wrong reason number two is the persuasive influence of friends and family. Now I've heard a lot of stories of families telling their children that you know we're a bunch of doctors so maybe you should become a doctor or we're a family of engineers and you should carry forward that tradition. Now while it really does help to have the entire family in the same profession and you do get a lot of support from that structure but it is very important that as an individual you should excel personally so 
If there's something you want to do which is outside of your family's realm, have the courage to speak up and share it with them. Wrong reason number three is a fancy fictitious idea. Now many times we watch movies and shows where they uh, demonstrate these very exciting careers and we get excited by ourselves and we say, hey, that looks really interesting, maybe I should follow that. Now that may not be the best way to choose your career. Go back to the five easy techniques that we've given you and run through all of them to make sure you're choosing your career for the right reason. And finally, wrong reason number four is called money and fame. Yes, I know money and fame are super important, but for those of you that have possibly seen this movie called Three Idiots, You've heard this dialogue that don't run behind money and fame, make yourself so successful that money and fame run behind you. And also give me a comment to tell me which of these wrong reasons do you think you would tend to fall for. I hope this video helped you to choose between science, commerce and arts because the best stream to choose is the one that takes you to your dream. And thank you for watching right till the end and please press that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And also give us a thumbs up and remember to put a comment under this video telling me finally which profession did you like and which stream are you likely to choose.